2-2 spotted barrel pedigree is beyond the grave loudmouth. So we talked that loudmouth sow earlier. Just a, she was a really good maid, real neat looking type of sow. Um, this this barrow here, um, he is a boar currently, but he's going to get cut there uh, tomorrow actually. Um, He's kind of built like that sow. Just really good made, really easy feeding type of barra that I think you just take that one home. It's going to get better and better. Yeah, we seen those uh, sisters earlier and talked those how fun they could be. And I think this one, uh, Brady going ahead and making this one a barra is going to be fun to jackpot also and uh, take on to Expo. Because, again, a lot of what those gilts had in terms of that look, design, tall shouldered, they're not screwed up. And in the spot world, getting one that's not mm -hmm. screwed up is half the battle. So just being comfortable in his skeleton and in his front knee, um, got look and dead level. Uh, I think his proportions are really, really good. I think another one that could be fun to feed in that uh, spot division. Uh, jackpot him, take him to Expo, do what you want. But I think a, a very high quality uh, spot barrel here. Yeah, this one, they study how big and uh, uh, correct he is in his shoulder, and you study that, that uh, stoutness of forearm, really like that. Uh, the, the view you get going away is square. Uh, I love the way his hock sets, and when he reaches and plants, it's a very, very flexible, athletic kind of a barrow that I think, uh, uh, again, like Tim said, could be fun to feed no matter the end point. Uh, I think one that uh, come Expo, come uh, jackpot uh, time this spring could be a lot of fun. A really big top. Big hip, big-ended kind of a barrow that has some presence as well. Again, this is 2-2 two -two spot barrow. 